There are few directors that create worlds through cinema. Unique realms that seem far away, yet so near. You are dropped in the dance of pictures and sound as your guide. And then your own mind becomes part of the story you and you are, are fully immersed. on a great journey. Are you ready, my friend? In just two films, he's created a style. His films take place in a strange dystopian world, drenched in saturated colors. Slow camera motions and the pacing of dialogue that gives you the sense of a dream. It's a descent into madness, where doctors and cult leaders pursue utopia, and bikers from hell roam the countryside looking for prey. Oh yeah, no, that was really what put the hook in me. I, uh, I saw that movie and uh, I didn't sleep for a week. I mean, it was powerfully disturbing and uh, beautiful at the same time, much like what I experienced last night, mm -hmm. like a bad dream, hallucinogenic and hard to quantify, hard to describe, difficult to d duplicate, hard to describe, um, but uh, it's uniquely Panos. How are you feeling? You look tired today. Have you had uh, any headaches? I, I would describe the way that I made these two films as a sort of iterative, almost sculptural process where I start with a sort of core th thought and then I start building out from there. I start uh, compiling images and sounds and, and sort of then eventually scenes start to come and characters start to come. So it, for me, it, when I'm writing these things, I'm sort of, I don't even think of it as writing initially. It's more like an iterative, almost sculptural process of trying to sort of build this, this object. Panos and I just talked a lot about what we understood as the kind of depravity of the male ego when it runs rampant. And this, this character was a really an opportunity to take that all the way to the sort of enlightened ego, the guy who thinks he's the messiah, but it's really the ego that's in charge and he just wants ownership and possession of everything. Mm -hmm. um, and it was beautifully written by Panos. His fist closed around the serpent's eye. Strange and eternal. You're a special one, Mandy. Mandy. Um, well, I, I, I think that the, the two movies that I watched that made, me, made it click in my mind that I wanted to actually direct movies mm -hmm. Was uh, in the in the late '80s, I watched back to back Army of Dark, sorry, uh, Evil Dead Two, nice, and uh, After Hours by Scorsese, oh, fuck. which both have these like really uh, heightened kind of sense of camera uh, movements, and, and, and suddenly something something clicked for me where I was like, oh, you can the camera is like a paintbrush, or the camera is like a tool that you use to express yourself, or you can create energy with it. I don't know, somehow some, somehow somehow suddenly that became very clear to me. And, and that's when I first started wanting to direct. But before that, you know, I was like, the movie I was really obsessed with was The Road Warrior. Uh, and I taped it on beta off of, uh, off of uh, cable and just watched it over and over, literally thousands of times. And I had, I was so obsessed with the idea of the post apocalypse <laughs> Uh, that I get you know, all my G.I. Joe figures, I kind of like uh, put, you know, like tape on them and customize them and just, we just play uh, the post apocalypse. closed around the serpent's eye. Strange and eternal.